Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will talk about the cervical tear repair and in this topic we will cover the risk factors and causes of cervical tear, the symptoms with which the patient presents, the whole procedure of cervical tear repair and the possible complications. So let us start from the risk factors or what causes the cervical tear. The causes include, first of all, the gestational diabetes and macrosomic babies. Secondly, shoulder dystocia. Thirdly, operative vaginal delivery because with forceps, vacuums or both, especially in case of undilated cervix, there is increased incidence of the cervical tear. Next cause is that of cervical interventions means if there is history of cerclage, cervical conization as well as dilatation and evacuation, then there is increased risk of cervical tear. Another cause is precipitous labor, which is defined as the expulsion of fetus within less than three hours of commencement of regular uterine contractions. Another cause is rapid delivery of the head in breech presentation. And the last cause is fetal malposition like in occipital posterior position. So what are the symptoms or the presentation of the patient with cervical tear? First of all, patient may present with a continuous fresh vaginal bleeding with a no vulval vaginal tear identified. Secondly, in severe cases, uterine atony may be there or patient may develop hypertension in severe cases. So, a uh, cervical tear is potentially life-threatening if it remains undiagnosed and is not treated timely. Let us talk about the cervical tear repair technique. In the Dokes and Oski station, I will say that I will introduce myself to the patient and take her introduction. Next come the counseling of the patient. I will explain the whole situation and procedure of repair and possible complications to the patient and take informed consent. Next comes the preparation before procedure. I will put the patient in lithotomy position and in the presence of adequate light and anesthesia. After gowning and gloving, I will drape the patient. I will clean the area and I will ask my assistant to retract the vaginal wall with the help of retractor. Then, I will hold the anterior and posterior cervical lips with a sponge holding forceps. I will pull the cervix downward and inspect it carefully under full exposure. I will identify the apex of the tear and repair it with a cat cut number one in interrupted pattern. And I will place the first suture well above the apex. In this way, I will complete the repair by taking stitches till the end of the tear and that depends upon the type of the tear the accident of the tear so i will complete the repair by taking interrupted stitches and taking a knot in the end after repair i will thoroughly inspect the genital area for any trauma and repair it accordingly if i find any other trauma let's come to the end of procedure at the end of procedure, I will reposition the patient, I will give her a sterile pad, I will cover her and shift her to the recovery room and then I will write the detailed notes with the date, time and signature. Now let us talk about the possible complications of cervical tear repair. We may have certain early complications or late complications. The early complications include bleeding, pain or extension of the tear. The late complications include cervical incompetence, cervical stenosis or the patient may develop infarction later on. So that was all about the cervical tear repair. I would like to end my presentation with these golden words. A flower doesn't think of competing to the flower next to it. It just blooms. So never compare yourself with anyone else and bloom like a flower. If you look the right way, you can see that the whole world is a garden. So thank you so much. Wish you best of luck in every step of your life. Allah Hafiz.